What's going on everyone? This is Dustin Stelzer with Electrician U and today we're going to talk about all the different kinds of bits that electricians use. Number one on our list is a standard Phillips bit for your drill. So I personally don't like individualized bits like this. Love everything Milwaukee, just hate these. Um, I like to have an extension that I stick a Phillips into. Um, these a lot of times have magnets inside of them so it magnetizes all the screws that you put on them. There's some screws that are not magnetic uh, and so just sticking them on the end of here, they're gonna fall off. So I like having this slide on there because it at least keeps your screws on and then when you drill them in, uh, it closes. So I'm a huge fan of these. The DeWalt, well, <laughs> when they get worn out, they do that. They're not supposed to do that. Um, but they're really cheap for like five bucks. You can get, uh, I think like a pack of two. I don't know. Maybe they're like 250 a piece. Maybe they're five bucks. Don't quote me on that. They're cheap enough though, like that having three or four of them around is easy to do. There's another one by Ryobi. A um, little bit longer, but it's nice to have like longer, shorter versions. So uh, number one, just regular Phillips drill bit. Number two is you want some nut driver bits for your drill. So I, uh, I have like a full pack of these that goes quarter inch, uh, five sixteenths, three eighths, seven sixteenths. Um, it really helps a lot of times when things are hard to loosen up to have a drill bit rather than just a handheld nut driver. Um, the majority of the time you're going to be using quarter inch and five sixteenths. You're probably going to use five sixteenths more than you use anything at all, but there's a lot of HVAC equipment that you're going to try to get into that they only use quarter inch stuff. Um, even when they're like in a new construction environment, all their straps that they put up, they're just constantly using quarter inch stuff. So uh, at least having a quarter inch and five sixteenths. Um, Nut driver bits, you could get the 3 8 and the 9 16 because every once in a while you're going to come across stuff like that. But I recommend just getting the whole pack. There's like a four pack that you can get at Home Depot for really cheap. Next on the list is masonry bits. So anytime that you are drilling into brick, uh, into stone, into concrete, uh, you need a bit that can drill through stone and not tear it up. If you're going to use regular bits like these, you're not going to get anywhere. You're just going to tear up perfectly good blades. These are designed for masonry. Um, the tips are designed a certain way. The rifling on them is designed a certain way. Um, these are Bosch bits. They're really cheap and they come in a pack of like five and they're all different sizes, which is cool. I find that more often than not, you're going to use the quarter inch more than anything. And they do make a lot like bigger ones, more stout, like really, really thick ones, depending on what kind of anchors you're putting in. Um, but masonry bits, you're going to use the shit out of as an electrician. Number four on our list, uh, another great thing to have are paddle bits or spade bits. Um, these are for drilling holes in wood. And there's a bunch of different types. These are kind of like the old school commonly used. Um, I like the daredevil bits that are made by Bosch. Um, they actually have a uh, little like drilling the front end that kind of sucks the blade through the material. I like that a lot. Um, I like that they have like these sharp points on the end rather than it just being a flat blade. I find this flat blade, like they, you hit a nail and you're done. These are a little bit more forgiving um, and they do a little bit better job of like sucking material out of the hole as they're pulling stuff through, whereas these are just flat. So a lot of the time their material gets stuck in there and then they stop drilling really well. Um, but just having some paddle bits or spade bits, there's a bunch of different variations that you can have. You're gonna use these all the time. Every time you're drilling through wood, whether it's commercial structures that are wood framed that you're running MC through, or if you're in a residential environment where you're pulling Romex through, um, you're gonna use the shit out of these. So I find it, it's really helpful to get like a full set of all of the different sizes, although you're gonna find like the smaller sizes like this, you're probably not gonna use very often. You're more than likely gonna be using like the half inch, five eighths, seven eighths, three quarter, maybe even the inch. Um, so it'd be cool if Bosch would make just an electrician pack that had one inch, three quarter, nine sixteenths, five eighths, half inch, and that's about it. And then you give us like two of every kind because you're always gonna fuck one up or a helper's gonna steal one or something like that. And having to buy an entirely new pack when you only need one size is really stupid. But the paddle bit. Next thing to have, um, which you're not going to use as often, but it's really handy to have, is a uh, an impact set, uh, impact driver socket set. 
So it's an adapter that adapts to any uh, 3 8 drive socket. So rather than having to have it ratchet and socket, you can put one of these on a drill, put a socket on it, and just tighten something up that way. Um, I would be careful because there's a lot of equipment and things that have specific torque settings that you need to use a torque wrench to torque to get to uh, spec for that piece of equipment. But a lot of times if you're just building like a strut rack or something like that and you don't want to have to hand ratchet everything, I love having these things um, just because it's, it's a, a lot quicker way to build things with sockets. Next on my list is a drill index. Um, you can see I'm missing a couple here and I'm actually using them over there. My apologies for not having them in the video. Um, the quarter inch you're probably gonna use more than anything. Half inch, three eighths you'll use as well, but sometimes you just need to drill little pirate pi pirate holes. I are Oh, there's a good joke behind that, pirate holes. Uh, <laughs> what's a pirate's favorite letter? R, 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 no you'd think so, but it's the C. <laughs> I know, I'm a fucking idiot. So anyways, uh, drill index is a good thing to have. Um, yeah, you'll find that like, you're gonna drill through a lot of metal and things, so just having an, in, an index that you have multiple different sizes of these is great. This one, all of these fit in a uh, impact driver. So they're not like a normal drill bit that you'd have to stick in a drill, which is cool. I like getting anything, like even my paddle bits, I like having the ends that'll fit in an impact driver so I can just slide them in and use them with my smaller drill because there's some times where you have to get in at a weird angle and you need a shallow drill to be able to get in. So pretty much everything I buy is uh, equipped to be a fit on an impact driver. But uh, these are great for drilling metal. They have a 135 degree angle on them. They are kind of like self tapping, but they're made specifically for drilling metal, and as an electrician, you're gonna be drilling in metal all the damn time. Next on our list is the unibit, or the stepped bit, whatever you call them. Um, but this is for drilling large holes. So you start out with a small hole. I typically don't like to use the tip of this thing to drill my pilot hole in a piece of metal. I'll get a bit like this, or a self-tapper or something, and I'll begin the hole that way. Um, then, I'll put this in and it drills through the metal and it opens it up and makes bigger holes. It's for drilling metal specifically. Um, they have an impact version one from Milwaukee. This is cool, man. These things burn out really quickly. A lot of guys put them in their drill and then they just hit full speed and go. And then they overheat them. They actually change the surface, the cutting surface on here. So they, they like wear out really quickly. Um, the ones from Klein, this one specifically is like a $50 blade. You can get them at Arbor Freight, like cheap ones for like, I don't know, five of them for like $10, but they're pieces of shit and they're gonna break and they're gonna wear out fast. But I have found that these Milwaukee ones, the way that they're constructed, they, because you put it in an impact driver, you're not sitting there on full speed and just hollowing this thing out and, and like destroying it. Um, an impact steps a little bit. So it's like, kuk, 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 kuk. and it does a lot better job at really slow speeds on an impact. And these bits have lasted me a year and they're just as sharp as when I, well, probably not just as sharp as when I got them. Let's be real here. But they're still really sharp and they're really reliable. There's one that's inch and an eighth um, and then there's another one that's seven eighths that I have, but they're both extremely, extremely useful. So I would buy the Milwaukee ones if you're gonna buy any of them, but you don't have to. Klein makes some good ones too. They're just really expensive. I've actually broke the entire tips off of these. You drop them on the ground. Don't drop them on the fucking ground. I mean, but stuff happens. Um, I've actually broken two of these Kleins throughout my career, so I don't buy them anymore. Um, but I've broken them off just drilling. The end of it just pops right off, uh, snaps in half. So then you're fucked and you're out of 50 or $60 bit. But the Milwaukee ones are the way to go. Any way you go, you're gonna need unibits um, or stepped bits, whatever you call them. Um, and having one that adapts to an impact driver, I think is a really good idea. Next on our list of bits to have as an electrician, these are carbide hole saw bits. So these are specifically made for drilling through stainless steel. If you try using like hole saw bits to drill through stainless, you're gonna smoke them. Uh, you're just gonna damage them. So stainless is really, really difficult to cut through. And these are all the typical sizes that you would use. So this is a 7 8 um, 7 8 is for half inch couplings and connectors and things like that in our trade. So 7 8 hole will fit a half inch connector. 
Um, inch and an eighth hole will fit a three quarter connector and an inch and three eighths hole will fit a uh, one inch connector. So this is a perfect set for the small stuff that you use. Um, most of the time when you're drilling through stainless, you're probably putting a, a, a piece of conduit in it or you're running like MC or something into it. So it's good to have a bit that can handle it. Um, I don't recommend that you use these at full speed either. Something people don't think about when they're using bits and blades is that heat destroys both of them. Anytime you have vibration or heat, it will ruin your blades and your bits. And you can make stuff like this last really, really long if you either put some kind of oil or some kind of liquid compound in to keep the heat down, or if you just drill at slow speeds and let the teeth do all the work. Don't sit and like cram this thing down and try to make it drill. Um, so this will drill stainless really, really well. I recommend everybody get one, uh, get a set of these. They're made by Klein. Not the cheapest, but they're definitely worthwhile when you're dealing with stainless. Next on our list, um, I like this kit from Diablo. Um, there's tons of different hole saw bits that you can get, but these are hole saws. So this is Diablo's electrician set of hole saws. Um, they have all the sizes that we use. So they've got the seven eighths, inch and an eighth, uh, inch and three eighths. So they can go from half inch conduit to three quarter, one inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, two inch, two and a half, uh, three, three and a half and four all the sizes that we would need as an electrician and none of the other shit that you don't. Um, I actually have another hole saw in here that I use. If you look at the difference between the teeth on these. So these are sharp. These are meant for like wood, some metal, you know, thin metal, nothing stainless. You wouldn't want to do that. Um, but these don't have any teeth that are sharp on the ends of them at all. These are completely flat, but they're diamond. So if you're cutting through hardy board, siding, a roof soffit or some kind of material that's like concrete in nature, um, use a diamond bit for that because it's actually designed for that. It keeps the material build up out, keeps the heat down. Don't drill at high speeds, drill at low speeds. You could even drill through hardy board with this stuff at really low speeds, but in my experience, you fuck the teeth up on these really, really quick when you're trying to use hardy. So just don't do that. Get, get something like this. Um, and I know these blades or these bits are not very cheap. So like, Sometimes just buying one like this might be $30, uh, but it's a really good thing to have. You're gonna be drilling holes in wood, um, drilling holes in like steel siding, panels. Um, like I said, the hardy board siding, soffits, all kinds of stuff. So having hole saws, like electricians use the shit out of these. All right, so the last set of bits that I think every electrician should have, this one's pretty spendy. Um, but these are awesome. These are called Forstner bits. So Forstner bits are hole saws again, but they are meant to specifically drill through wood. Um, and they don't, they don't build up material inside of them like one of these hole saws would. So with one of these, say you're drilling through uh, a double stack two by four. So like two, two by fours on top of each other. As you drill, that material ends up inside of this bit. And then you gotta stick a screwdriver in and pry it out and pull those things out because there's a flat back on it. What's cool about these is these just drill through holes. They're just bits, so they're constantly removing material as you go. They're very expensive. You don't wanna damage them. You really, really wanna take care of these bits, but they're awesome. Like this whole set goes from probably a 3 16 hole all the way to a two and an eighth. So um, especially if you're working in wood environments, if you're in resi, you're doing custom homes and you have like three panels right next to each other and you're drilling down for all your home runs, your, your feeders, sub feeds. Um, having these bits is really, really nice. Uh, as you guys know, probably using these kind of sucks. All right, so that's pretty much it. There's definitely other bits that I'm not talking about like whole hog bits or like really long uh, extensions for bits or um, you know, they've got like paddle bits that are 18 inches long, or they've got like masonry bits that are 18 inches, 12 inches. Um, there's a lot of other like kind of specific bits that you might get countersink bits if you're doing certain like finish work. Um, but I think these are the bits that most electricians are gonna use most often. So let me know what you guys think. If I missed anything, if you like certain brands over other brands, um, any recommendations that you've got. Love you crazies, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.